Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be looking at bubble maps, how they work, and how you can avoid them. So bubble maps work by tracking sold transactions and tokens within wallets. Let's get into a bit of an example. So let's say that you have three wallets, A, B, and C. You transfer souls from A to B, and later you transfer some to C. There are now sold transactions that connect all of these wallets, but so far none hold tokens, so bubble maps is irrelevant. If I were to buy tokens with A and C, they still remain clear from bubble maps because there is no direct sold transfer between A and C, and they have a common wallet that currently doesn't hold tokens. But if wallet B was to either buy or receive the same token that is held in A and B, these wallets would then be connected on bubble maps. So as you can see, to avoid this, we just have to ensure that the connecting wallet never holds the same common token. Now that we have a better understanding of how bubble maps work, let's look at a good scenario versus a bad scenario. The first one here, we've got zero bro token, um, and we're gonna load up its bubble maps and see what that looks like. Now this is a perfect scenario of a bubble map. There's no connection between any wallets. Let's have a look at a bad scenario. So we've got another token here, which is Prime Coin, and if we open up the bubble maps here, you'll see a little bit of a different story. And there you go, you can see all the connections between these wallets, and it's not looking great. So if you can utilize these steps to ensure there's no connections between your bot wallets, you'll have great looking bubble maps. And that's pretty much all there is to bubble maps. So that's the end of the video, but if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us via the links in the description. And thanks for watching.